everybody, welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have some more epic hauls, customs, and all sorts of things going on in today's video. Guys, you can see the four figures up front, three of which are customs. We got some new pickups in the back. We also have this Jack Gallagher figure that I got from Amazon. And the reason I grabbed this was off of Amazon. And I guess you guys will have to see why I grabbed it. You guys will see in the future why I grabbed it. But anyways, guys, I completed two customs that are going over to my boy TJ from Undisputed Brotherhood, which yesterday was his birthday. Happy birthday to you, bro. I know I sent you a message and posted on my story and everything, but I figured I'd drop it here in the video as well. You guys need to go subscribe to his channel, follow him on Instagram, at Undisputed Brotherhood, and check out all of his stuff. But, uh... Let's go ahead and get into the customs first, because, I don't know, I just want to start with the customs first. You got a problem with it? Want to fight about it? Anyways, let's start off with the glorious Robert Roode. Yes, guys, we know that Robbie, Robbie, Robbie Roode, surprise, I'll, I'll be shocked if they don't change his name to Robbie Roode here in a minute. But what I did, guys, is just basically take my, I think it's my NXT Elite, yes, it's my NXT Elite, and I have my entrance greats robe on there, but I pretty much just took it. You can't remove the true effects beard, I'm pretty sure I've used Ash acetone in the past. I've tried to re remove it and stuff like that. It will not remove. I've tried it with Balor. I've tried it with a few other guys. If you can do it, I think you have to do it really thick and stuff, and I've had problems with it in the past, so I just went with the basic head scan that the NXT Elite comes with, and I just took my acetone, took a Q-tip, just worked it around, and bam! Took off his beard, and now he has just that mustache. He's looking great. I can't wait to see where this gimmick goes. Hopefully we get an epic heel Bobby Roode. I did this the other day. It was like one morning I woke up early, you know, I was filming the pick fan and the Bobby Roo was just chilling right there. And I said, you know what, bro? Let me just go ahead and do this. It'll take me five seconds. So bam, 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 did it. It was like three days ago. And I've just now put it in a video, but... I figure you guys will be interested in that anyways, but there is Robert Roode. I think he looks good. Like I was saying, I think a singles heel Bobby Roode. We've been waiting on this ever since he got called up from NXT, guys. It's going to be epic. I can't wait to see where he goes, but very simple custom. Take your 100% acetone that you get from Walmart. It's like a dollar or two dollars. You can you make and get it from, you know, Walgreens or something, but Walmart probably has the cheapest brand. 100% acetone. Take a Q-tip and just wipe that off. Get all the access and... Boom, Robert Roode Custom. Very, very easy. So that is it for him. Next up, guys, we have a NXT TakeOver New Orleans Johnny Wrestling or Johnny Gargano. You guys can see here we got all of the design work. This is all hand-painted by yours truly. I did do all of the paint work here with a brush. We got the Johnny Gargano logo. You got the city skyline. You got the paint splatter in that blue and orange. You got the Johnny Gargano emoji there. On the back, you got Johnny Wrestling. You got all the details going around. Blood splatter over on this knee pad that says live or DIY down the kick pad. Again, you got the emoji on the other knee pad. I still haven't sealed it, but uh, it should be pretty simple. You got the skyline going on on the kick pads. You got the paint splatter continuing around the whole kick pads. Orange around the feet. And I know my boy TJ is excited for this one. Johnny Gargano is one of his favorite wrestlers. And I know he wants to add him to his resurgence of his pick pad. So I know he's happy to get this figure. We're going to seal him up and he'll be able to use him for matches and whatever he wants to do with Johnny Wrestling. So there is Johnny Gargano. I'm pretty happy with this custom. It turned out all right. Better than I thought it would. My first Johnny Wrestling custom that I've done. And I literally just noticed. But there is paint splatter all over his arm. And that is unfortunate. I'm going to have to fix that. Get all that paint off. It's com It comes from uh, doing the flick method to the uh, the kick pads down here. And doing the flick method to the knee pad. Which uh, is how I get the little sp that spray paint effect that he had on there. So I'll get that taken care of. Not a big deal. Not, uh, you know, no issues there. I'll get all that off. But the next custom that we have, guys is Finn Balor. He also ordered, if you guys know that we did in that massive unboxing video, he had sent me a Top Talents Finn Balor, and what we did with that is I switched the kick pads and the knee pads for some Daniel Bryan ones. I painted the trunks red. I painted the Balor Club logo on the butt cheek black. We also have, uh, I painted this same red that was on the trunks on the face of the kick pads and on the face of the knee pads so that you'd get like that dual tone colorway that sort of Finn Balor has in his red attires. And then I just added some black and white to the shoes to get the full look. You see he got the shimmer going on. Pretty happy with the way this custom came out. He was, he said he just wanted a red attire Finn Balor, so that's what we did. I think he's going to use this in his pick fed as well, so that is perfectly okay. It should be fully playable. Shouldn't have any problems. Still have to seal it up, but I do like the way this came out. Same thing with this. I tried to acetone that Balor Club logo off in the past, and I could not get it off. I don't know why it would not come off. I probably should have sanded it or dremeled it off. Probably would have had a lot more luck. There's Finn Balor. Really simple custom. You just paint it up 
in red, got the black added to it, white out soles making it look great, and bam, Finn Balor custom. So we've already taken a look at Jack Gallagher, guys, it's just your basic Elite 56 Jack Gallagher, he also comes with an umbrella, very cheap, I got it on Amazon, I'm gonna go ahead and hook the umbrella around his neck right here, if I can, God, alright, got it, so there you go, around the neck. So there's our four customs or slash pickups that we got, three customs I should say. The rest of it is some pickups that I got from Walmart. This is a sensational sherry, guys. I think it's Elite Series 65. This is the Walmart exclusive, the, the little Chase variant or collector's edition. First time in the line with this wave and it's sensational sherry. My boy Jonathan, he actually lives in my town. Uh, we sort of grew up together. We grew up going to church together and uh, we played basketball and stuff week to week. He actually was in another city, part of Alabama, and he said, bro, I found sensational sherry. Do you want it? And I said, you know what, bro? Go ahead and hook me up. Up and he did so I appreciate that so much bro if you're watching thank you so much you got sensational sherry on there I honestly don't know if I will keep it I I, I kind of want to trade it so if anybody's interested in any trades for this I can keep it mock I can keep it you know ship it loose whatever you want to do I really don't have a use for it but I figured maybe I could use it to you know trade or do something with so there's sensational sherry if anybody's interested and you want me to take a look at your trade section I am open for that so you can hit me up on Instagram email whatever for the sensational sherry and then, you know, uh, I saw a Top Picks Balor. You guys know that we always pick up the Top Picks Balors. If we see them in retail, we found another one for the customs and stuff of that nature. So that is the reason we picked up my boy Finn Balor. Maybe I'll do a SmackDown Live attire or something. Or, I don't know, maybe we'll do an NXT Demon. I really need to get up to date with my NXT Demons and NXT attire. So maybe I'll do that. Or, I don't know, who knows. I got a ton of them on the shelf for future customs and stuff. And I wish, the one thing I want to add here is I wish that the new Finn Balor that we were getting in the 2019 Top Picks line had a new head scan. They gave us the ringside exclusive head scan, and I wish they would have given us something similar to this, but with a beard. I really want a bearded head scan. You guys can say, well, that's a bearded head scan. No, Brad, I want like a faded tapered, nice faded to thick beard on the bottom, sculpted nicely like we get on like Triple H or Seth Rollins is what I want to see. So maybe they'll do that in the future. Maybe at Comic-Con or something we'll get that, but that is it for today's video, guys. We got the pickups. We got the Sensational Sherry. We got the Finn Balor. We got the New Orleans Takeover Johnny Wrestling. We got the new Bobby slash Robert Rude. Robbie Rude is how we're going to call him here. We got the Finn Balor custom in red, and we have the Jack Gallagher in the umbrella. Update on the Royal Rumble, guys. I have started the Rumble match itself. It is the last thing that I have to do for the show, and I am grinding hard on it every single day. You guys know there are 30 entrants in that hoe. I'm not going to tell you what entrant I'm on, but I am working on it every single day, and... We're getting closer and closer. I think my aim, if I had to pick, I'm aiming to have it up before or by next Saturday. That is my, not this Saturday, so not tomorrow, but next Saturday. I think it's May the 4th. That is the date that I'm going to try to have it up either before that day or on that day. That is my deadline that I'm giving myself. So hopefully we will have everything squared away. We'll have it up. It's going to be a long show. It's going to be an epic show, and it's going to be the best MDT show that we've done thus far, and I can't wait for you guys to see it and review it and talk about it. Give me your comments. I'm super excited for it and I cannot wait for you guys to see it and see where the storylines progress, see who wins, see who, you know, continues their great career in MDT and we'll just see how it goes, guys. But thank you guys so very much for watching. Again, thank you guys so very much for watching. Comment down below your favorite pickup. What do you think of all the customs we've done here today? I would love to know down in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.